Okay, welcome back. This is um, part two of my little video demo of my program. Um, if you're watching this, you must be interested. So, one of the other things my program can do is I'll demonstrate. Um, I'll just go up here and I'll go to map and I'll clear everything from this map. And let's just say you wanted to do a trip from Kalgoorlie to somewhere in Adelaide. So what we can do is we can fire up Google Earth and up here we'll put in uh, Kalgoorlie in Western Australia, Gold Morning Town, Kalgoorlie, my hometown. And over here we'll put in um, Adelaide, South Australia. And what we'll do is we'll go back up here to Kalgoorlie and we'll do a right click on this and we'll go directions from here and we'll go down over here and we'll go directions to here and Google Earth kindly produces a nice little neat track for us all the way from Kalgoorlie through Norseman across the Nullarbor right down to somewhere in Adelaide and what we can do then is we can come down to the route click on the route and save to my places or so save place as and here it's going to save it as a KMZ file, but Oz Explorer uses KML files, so we'll change that to a KML file. And we're just going to save that as a route. And we're going to replace that one there. So that's it for now. We're finished with Google Earth, and we can go back to Aussie Explorer. And we'll load in that route, or import that Google Earth KML file. And there we have our nice little neat track all the way from Kalgoorlie, Norseman, Nullarbor, down to Adelaide, or oh, somewhere in South Australia, actually not quite Adelaide, I've gone to the wrong place there, it doesn't really matter. Um, the problem with this track, but of course, is that it's going across the Nullarbor. Now, if we have a look at the track details here, you can see that um, there's some big gaps between all these points here. Now, the gap between that point there and that point there could be a couple of hundred kilometres easily. So that means if you were to press the, the replay button on Aussie Explorer to replay this track, you would only get the image at this, at this point here, and it'd jump a couple of hundred kilometres, and you'd get the next image at the next point. Now that's no good if you want to cache that entire track to do a trip across the Nullarbor. So what we can do is we can save that track, and we'll save that as a test plot again. We had to save it because this track was originally in a... KML format and we want it to be in a standard Aussie Explorer track file format. So we can go back to my program and we can load in that track file that we just saved, test. And as you can see there's 2,103 points in that track and what we want to do is create a track identical to that one there except with a lot more points in it so that we can, uh, we can cache that track all the way. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click on create track with more points and that's done. And it created 12,553 points along that track. So going back to Oz Explorer, we'll clear this track from the screen and we'll load in that track we just created. Aussie Cage converted more points. And there it is, it looks exactly the same except if you have a look at the track control now, there are many, many points. In fact, there's 12,553 of those points. So what we can do now is we can... Well, I've got a little hot link up here for my um, show hide track replay control. You can select those from the um, uh, customized toolbar boxes down here. You can do that yourself. So I'll just click on my track replay control up here and I'll just start to replay that track done that again here we go and I'll just speed this up and that's going to travel across that track now and we'll zoom in here to about zoom level 12 and you'll see it running along that track and you can see all the points that I've created along that track in fact those points are around about 150 metres apart on the average and if you wanted to case that entire track now at a higher zoom level you just select your zoom level that you want 
obviously you're going to have to slow your speed down and that will cache that entire track all the way from Kalgoorlie right through to Adelaide for you. Um, going back to my program you can see here that if we were to create a map image at zoom level 18 we would require 35,247,964 images. Well, I can tell you now, there's not a computer on the planet that would be able to load an image of that size. And uh, the pixel size here is uh, 2,653,184 by 870,000. Well, we just can't do that. It's not possible. So on a track like that, all we're interested in is, uh, is building up the Aussie cache. And when you were driving along this road, uh, you'd only be interested in the images that are actually on the road anyhow. So that's a demonstration of the way that we can uh, create a lot more points along a track and get all of the maps from that area. Now, I'll just stop this. What we can do here, I'll just clear it from this map. You can also cache very very large areas as an example if you wanted to cache um, the entire continent here or not continent the, the entire island of Tasmania again you can just draw a track around it you could put a simple diagonal line across it like that or you could put a track all the way around it to suit you suit yourself it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day like I said before I think my program effectively draws a square around all those points anyhow. So we'll just save that track to a file and we'll again call it test. Go back to my program, load in that new track file, test, open it up and again if we wanted to create a, a single image of Tasmania um, at zoom level 18 you would require 19,473,000 images and as I said before that's not going to happen it's just too big but we can set up a track file to cache that entire island at zoom level 18 if we wanted to so what we're going to do here I'm going to make it a bit more sensible and I'm just going to drop it down to say zoom level uh, 12 will do and at zoom level 12 we require 4,891 images. So what we can do here is we check the image list and it's telling me that from my cache there is currently 4,320 images missing from my cache at zoom level 12. Remember everything's based on the zoom levels. So we're going to now create a missing image track. Again this missing image track is based at zoom level 12. Remember that. So we go back to Aussie Explorer, clear all these tracks off the screen here, and we'll load in the track that we just created for the missing images. And it's called Aussie Cage Converter Missing Images Plot. And that has just done now a grid array all the way around Aussie, uh, Tasmania, excluding the images that we already have. And we created this track for zoom level 12 so make sure we have zoom level 12 up here selected you will notice that if we don't have the correct zoom level and as these images come down they're not lining up correctly with the images so we need to select zoom level 12 and they will then be lined up correctly was it zoom level 12 it was zoom level 12 and then of course you can just again select your replay control and Aussie Explorer will go ahead and start to cache all of those files for you. Um, I actually was going to do part three of this video, but at this stage of the game, I actually don't think I will, because I think that this is probably enough to get you by. Um, there are there is another application I mentioned before, Graphics Magic, um, which is a separate installation to my program. In fact, my program doesn't even need installing. It's a standalone executable. Um, 
but you would need to install the Graphics Magic Pagic package from uh, graphicsmagic.org, which is uh, which is free and f and free for use. Um, anyhow, if you're interested, like I said, email or drop me some messages, and um, we can have a talk about it. Okay, thanks for that. See you later.